My name is Jeff Struker. I'm a former Army chaplain and uh, at one time was a ranger who was depicted in the book in the movie Black Hawk Down. I'm really, really honored to be among the cadets at VMI and I consider it a great honor. I'm in Mogadishu, Somalia in the summer of 1993. I had just arrived back to the base, taking a wounded ranger, Todd Blackburn, back with me. And in the process, my little three vehicle convoy got shot to pieces and one of my men was killed behind me. And then when I got back to the base and started to drop off the dead and the wounded, my platoon leader came up to me and said, Jeff, we've had two Blackhawks shot down. I need you and your men to go back out to the second Blackhawk crash site. And I had to wrestle with the uh, fear of, if I drive back out into the, sewers, into the city streets, I'm, I know I'm gonna die. A scene that's depicted in the movie Black Hawk Down is when one of my men walks up to me and says, hey, Sergeant, I can't go back out in the city streets with you. What I said to this guy, Thomas, look, Thomas, I'm scared. I know you're scared, we all are. But then I also told them, look, I, I'm not gonna force you to go back out there. I could if I wanted to, but I'm not going to. I need you on these vehicles. The guys, your buddies that are still out in the city streets fighting for their lives, they need you. And if you don't go back out there, those guys may die. I basically left it in his hands. And as I was driving away, I looked in the rearview mirror and I watched him reach down and pick up his weapon and jump on the last Tom V and roll back out in the city streets and stay with me all night long. The thing that is much more powerful than leading people out of fear, if you don't do what I'll tell you to do, I tell you to do, I'll fire you, is leading people out of love. Love buys loyalty, and loyalty is the currency that allows you to make bold, courageous decisions. This is a principle that I think everybody in America needs to hear. Sports teams and corporate boardrooms and certainly at the U.S. government level, people need to remember love moves people a lot farther than raw fear and power does.